morning guys it is now uh, around 5 a.m. we have to wake up because we are gonna go up on the first island watch the sunrise should be really cool we have to go on the island and we have to walk for like 30 minutes or something to get to the spot to watch the sunrise day two living on a boat the boat is actually amazingly not so rocky um, thankfully because I get really sick from a rocky boat but uh, Hope you guys enjoy the sunrise and we'll see you guys on the first island then. So we're gonna get on the speedboat again and then head to the island. Not sure which one since it's too dark to tell at the moment. Alright, you can't see me, but we're going to the island. That's how dark it is. Because it's 5 a.m. <laughs> Woohoo! Alright guys, so as you guys can see, <laughs> you could be walking up some uh some stairs to head to the sunrise spot. Still can't see me. I'm a, I'm just black in the screen. Awesome. 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 Thirty minutes of darkness. All right. So we've been walking for about 15, 20 minutes. Rooms at the top. You can barely see me now. It's getting a little bit brighter. I wore this red shirt, so that hopefully I could stick out. Oh my God. We got a lot more to go. Let me show you. Oh. Can't really see, can you? Oh god. That was a pretty cool sunrise. Now it's 7.15ish, and we're heading back to the boat for some breakfast, yes! We're gonna go to the pink beach after a nice breakfast. That should be really tight, especially because the sun's out. The pink should look real pink, so uh, yeah. I'm gonna put the camera down, just in case, so that I don't trip on all these rocks going down, though. We'll see you guys at the pink beach. So now we are just chilling on the uh, on the front of the boat and this nice lounge area. Heading to the pink beach. It is really hot. The sun is like piercing right now. Swim, right? We're heading to the pink beach right yeah, now. Yeah, we're gonna swim together. And then Hans and I will swim. Oh my God, he just swam. Cool, yeah. Captain. Abi, Abi, why? We'll be we'll be swimming back to the beach though. Swimming back oh, to the yeah. beach. About to arrive at the pink beach. It's pink because the coral, pink of the coral. Coral fragments. Coral fragments make the, make the beach pink, make the beach pink. All right, so we made it to the pink beach here in uh, Indonesia. Absolutely amazing. The sand is so pink, the water is so blue, and the hills in the backdrop are so green. It's like a perfect color combination. We got some really cool gr draw, uh, drone shots, um, as well as uh, kind of cool little scenic uh, shots, so hopefully you guys will enjoy that. If you guys come to Indonesia, I highly recommend this pink beach. Supposedly there's a lot of pink beaches around these islands. This pink beach was recommended by our tour guide as one of the most, uh, as one of the pinkest beaches uh, on one of these islands. Um, highly recommended you guys come here. The sand is pink because of the, sorry, the pigment from the coral I guess kind of soaked into the sand and which is why the sand becomes pink, which is really, really cool. So definitely check it out here in Indonesia. Hey, Hans. Hi. <laughs> Dr. Tile? I tell you there are a lot of crap down there. Crap? Crap. Take your places that you never knew. I'll take you away. I love you today. Morning will come. I'll be the one next to you.
we're gonna snorkel uh, to the boat. Pretty cool, hopefully we see some turtles and some other cool sea life. Hopefully no jellyfish and no sharks. There's no sharks, no jellyfish, so we're all good. No we're good. Komodo. And no Komodo, no, no Komodo dragons. So hopefully we see some dolphins maybe. What do you do? Uh, dolphins maybe. Dolphins maybe, that'll be really, really cool. So actually it's pretty deep over there, so hopefully we can see something down below with the GoPro. So it's weird. We're, the boat's not moving, but it looks like it's moving because the current's so strong. We're like swimming against the current and we're not going anywhere. We're going backwards. Hans is all the way back there. You can see him. He's just giving up and just going all the way back there. But holy smokes. So it's supposed to get picked up by this speedboat over there. Oh my god. Oh, this is painful. We literally are moving away from the boat like crazy. No wonder they tell us the current is really, really strong. That's swimming. Because you can't swim against the current. This is like impossible. Like Loki. Holy smokes. So we survived. We got picked up by the speedboat. A near death experience. <laughs> oh, really weird, man. The boat looks like it was moving. Strong current. Ooh. I really thought the boat was moving because, like. <laughs> Hansel, just, Hansel just gave up. I was like, okay. I just gotta stay here. He just chilled. Yeah. Enjoy the water. <laughs> I was trying to fight the current still, failing miserably. All right, so now it's another 40 minutes to the Komodo Island, the Dragon Island, where we are going to try to touch the dragon. No! I suppose you can't touch the dragon. You gonna touch the dragon with me? Yeah, let's touch it. All right, let's dragon. touch the pale dragon battle. Yeah. So we made it to Komodo Island to see the dragon. This is our third stop here today. It's already only 11.30 a.m. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, JJ, you got your life jacket. <laughs> yeah! He's very, very safe, girl. Yeah! Yeah! High five, high five. High five. <laughs> First step on the Komodo Island, King of the Dragon Kingdom. So this is kind of a special opportunity to check out what these Komodos look like. Supposedly they're really big and you don't want to go too close to them. So you always have to have a ranger accompanying uh, with you uh, because supposedly it's kind of a little bit, it could be dangerous if you don't have a local uh, guiding you, so stay one for that, you know? Don't don't try to go off the path or, or go without a ranger if you come here. So this place was established in 1980 as the Komodo National Park and was declared a man and biosphere reserve in 1997 and inscribed on the World Heritage List in 1991. Oh, Komodo oh, Ranger! Oh. Oh. Welcome! Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. We are at the place we call watering hole. Uh, sorry, I mean Loch Lia. Loch it means bay and Lia it means hole. Hole. It's a dragon hole. Yeah. We have uh, three of sand track. Long is about three half kilometers and it's by the time more than two hours and then medium track is about two and a half kilometers. If you have any question, feel free. Me and my friend. Okay, I think that's all and let's go. So we just finished uh, looking at the dragons. Absolutely amazing experience. We saw both a female and a male dragon. Really, really cool. Hope you guys enjoyed that footage. Um, it's kind of, there's actually like a souvenir shop back here as well. It's like this little rest uh, area uh, next to the dock. There's like the souvenir shop there. There's like a little cafe there and they can basically sit down and uh, 
eat and relax for a little bit. It's really, really hot. So many of the Komodo dragons were, are supposedly like staying under the shade. But I guess if it's not as hot, their dragons could be walking around uh, a lot more. Uh, we actually, there's actually three treks, uh, small, medium, and long trek. Each, I think the longest one, I think he said it was like two hours to do the whole thing. We actually didn't do any trek um, because there's supposedly no promise that you can see the dragon on the trail. And the best place to see the dragons are when you first land, supposedly. So we already got a lot of photo and video and actually took us already like an hour and a half, hour to hour and a half, uh, shooting the footage we already had, moving literally only about 200 yards. So if you guys are here for video and photo, maybe not the best thing to actually go on the track and actually just uh, try and get a nice photo or video uh, next to the dock where the dragons will most likely be. So I those people who take the coconut from top, the top of the trees, they don't drink it. They say, they say. So only other people drink it. Yeah, 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 right? Right, right. Yeah, the real, the real yeah, 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 yeah. 15 coconuts. Oh no! Oh my god, that, those are big coconuts. Can't, can't even, can't even grab them with one hand anymore. Go, 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 go. So I'm greeted at the entrance of the boat with a purple drink. What is it? Mm. That's so good. Actually, the smoothie is dragon fruit. We got another fish, rice and some like, um, kind of like curry, not curry, uh, stew, chicken stew. So we just made it to uh, Makasa Reef over there, and then Manta Point, Manta Point is over there as well. So we're gonna head out, uh, snorkel a little bit, and uh, hopefully show you guys some really cool uh, sea life. Hopefully we can get a, see a manta ray too. We are at the, uh, little island right now it's pretty cool uh never been on something like this before and then you can snorkel around every around here the current is pretty strong though so you're supposed to like swim but i think we're going to swim on that side and then the boat's going to pick us on the opposite side because that's how strong the current's going to basically just take us over there so Trying to snorkel, yeah. but we almost uh, died. We almost died because <laughs> uh, suppose the current was too strong. It was too strong from like all the directions, right? Yeah. And so uh, we had to hold on to the rope and make sure we got up back on the boat. Yeah. It was a fun experience, though. <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> My friend's GoPro is no, no video right now. Yeah, the, Go the GoPro was not working. Maybe tomorrow. Yeah. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. All right. So now we have came back on the boat and uh, Intang, fried banana. Yeah. Fried bananas. Fried fried bread in with a banana. Oh my God, that's so good. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for today's vlog. Uh, it was really, really fun. That was day two of here living on a boat. Uh, we woke up really early, at like 4 a.m. start of the day. It was really cool. We snorkeled, we hiked. Um, actually, the snorkeling got kind of cut short because the anchor, we got the anchor got stuck uh, in the deep blue ocean. Um, and so, yeah, we kind of wasted about an hour or so. But, you know, stuff happens, it's all good. Uh, but yes, tomorrow, actually it's gonna be our last day living on the boat. We'll be snorkeling really in the morning and then actually heading to the airport and some of the influencers on this trip will actually leave already tomorrow. I'll be staying uh, for that day and then be leaving the following uh, night. So I do get like kind of a half day, or I got almost a whole day to explore for myself. Should be cool. Uh, thank you guys so much for staying tuned. If you guys enjoyed this, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, the next video will be day three. Um, and hopefully we'll see you guys there.